Limo drivers at Reddit. What's the craziest shit that's gone down in your limo? My mom was a driver for about 12 years. She just said a dead body. Apparently a bachelor party had booked the limo and had the partition up. They were doing drugs and apparently the guy OD'd and they just left him there. A friend owns a limo company. A few weeks ago someone took a dump in the ice box in one of his limos. The best part was that someone from the party called a few days later and was like. We left something in the limo. Yes. Yes you did. My mother used to work for a company that built limos and party buses and the owner also ran a rental service. They had one bus that was aptly named the stripper bus. The thing had poles. A see-through shower. Satin and velvet. Everything. The bus was rented out in Detroit one time and it came back in terrible condition. So bad that it had to come into the shop to have a lot of work done. When my mom asked what happened the owner simply replied. 15 cops and 30 hookers. My mom asked him what he was going to do about it and he kind of chuckled and said. Who the FCK am I supposed to call? The cops? I drive for Uber and I've given a ride to a man who was tripping balls on magic mushrooms. He kept telling me and the other, much more coherent, passenger about how the road is the universe and each dashed line in the lane markings as a human lifetime. In retrospect. That ain't half bad as far as analogies go. A cowboy vomited blood onto his date. I was in Times Square right after a show let out on a Saturday night. Needless to say a lot of people around to witness a limo drive by with a 20 something woman hanging her head out the window vomiting on her long hair and all over the side of the limo. Proud night. I know some girls who had a limo for prom or something and ended up taking all of their tops off and pretending to flash the other cars for fun, not realizing that all the lights were on in the limo and everyone could see right in. My limo driver for prom made an illegal U-turn on a major road and caused a six car pile up. He was making the turn to pick us up. We had no idea until we were sitting at the light waiting to leave and a lady came banging on the window that she was calling the police. Once we heard him speak. It was clear he was intoxicated. We immediately got out of the limo and I sat on a bench in front of a Bank of America for over an hour waiting for our parents. We forfeited our time and never did get our money back. You didn't get a refund? What the FCK? I'm not a limo driver but the best day of my life was when I was 9 and my friend used to couple us. However her father was a limo driver and on the last day of school he picked us up in the limo. Tens of kids were piled up at the window trying to look into it and me and my friend just strolled in and got into the limo. Then we watched Finding Nemo on the way home. Edit. Turns out that day just keeps getting better and better. Merry Samsonite. It's too soon for me to talk about it though. My friend was a town car driver, those really nice private cars, and one night he picked up a group of drunk people. Two women and two men. One of the women sits up front with him and starts slurring flirts at him. He is laughing and having a good time. But is paying attention to the road and doesn't see her grab the intercom thing for the radio, the thing used to contact dispatch. By the time she realizes what she has in her hand. She has already pressed the button and is saying, to all of the other drivers and dispatch, MR. Driver. I wanna lick your balls. Then she puts it down and doesn't stop laughing the rest of the ride. I would have never believed him if I hadn't done a ride along and talked to the other drivers that were working the night that happened. That's just one of the many stories. But it's my favorite. When my parents started dating. My dad was a limo driver for musicians who played in major concerts in Philadelphia. I can't remember all of the stories. But I believe he said the Moody Blues were drunk assholes who threw things at their fans outside the limo. Another story is on my parents second date. Which was going to happen after he drove you 2 to their concert. My dad picked my mom up. Then picked up you 2 from the airport. And they proceeded to be complete jerks to my mom. They got dropped off for their concert and my parents went to dinner. I'm not saying they should have been jerks about it. But isn't it pretty unprofessional to show up to pick someone else with a random person along for the ride? 
As a passenger I would certainly think it was pretty strange. It doesn't surprise me that you two were awful. Because yeah no. Hey guys. I know nobody will see this. But. Our limo club. I actually made an entire sub for this a while back. So if you guys want to share more stories. Feel free to do so over there as well. Cheers. Edit. Yes. One of the mods is the Chinese ribbon guy. Stop asking. Edit 2. I honestly expected this to get drop kicked into the bowels of Reddit. Thanks. All. Limo driver in Vegas here. I have so many good stories. A few years ago a famous Oscar winning actor asked me for blow. This past New Year's I had some pretty famous party girl jumped in my limo with her entourage. They asked to go cruising around and come back to the hotel. They jump in and roll up the partition. After driving around for about 45 minutes they ask me to take them back. I pull back into the hotel they jump out and give me $500 on a $80 ride and apologize for the mess. The inside was trashed. I called it a night right after that. When I start cleaning out the car I look in between the seats and find a small bag filled with coke. Well that rules out DiCaprio. My dad told me this one a bit ago. He was in Monaco for some convention thing of my granddad's when he was about 15. And they were staying at some little inexpensive pensioner, bed and breakfast, in Antibes with lots of funky people. Including the chauffeur for the Prince of Oman. The British chauffeur. John. Turned out to be quite funny. And my dad. Aunt. And grandparents talked to him a few times. One day. My dad. Aunt and grandparents were planning to go to the Monte Carlo casino in their rental car for something to do. Having talked with them earlier. John overheard them. And offered my dad and aunt a ride in his Bentley since he had to pick up the ambassador around there anyway. So he drove them for almost an hour and the three of them talked in the front seat like friends. But right before they arrived. He pulled over and had them move to the back. They pulled up to the casino and two teenagers in their shorts. Flip flops and ray bands come out. Looking as important as the prince the Bentley was originally for. Edit. Me being stupid edit. I was 14 or 15 and too dumb to realize that my girlfriend's sister's boyfriend was her pimp. I was also too dumb to realize that the limo he was removing the decals from was stolen. I rode in that limo. My dad used to be a limo driver owner of a limo service company and this is go to story. Not really crazy. But it's funny. He was on his way to pick up group of women to take them to the coast for a cruise. Now the leader of the group wasn't with the group and had to be picked up at her place while everyone else was at another house. When my dad picked up the first lady. She had already started the party. She was completely drunk. My dad ushered her to the limo and introduced himself as so. Hello. My name is Farhad. It's an Iranian name and some people struggle with it so if you want you can call me Frank. Now they've arrived to where everybody else is. As all the other ladies climb into the limo my dad being the gentleman that he is starts introducing himself hello my nah. He gets completely cut off by the drunk lady by saying this guy is named as. Frank. He's Canadian. He likes to be called Fernando. Some woman got in carrying a life sized blow up doll of Eminem. No one except the lady and Eminem was in the entire limo. So I was silent as I witnessed her doing some crazy s t to the inflatable. Twas awkward as fck. Not a limo driver. But I drive a bus for a college. Ever Saturday an unknown guy masturbates in the same spot in the back of the bus. True story. I was a limo driver in New York City for a number of years. This was during the 90s. One year. During the holidays. I got a call for a pickup at a hotel. I was tasked with being the chaperone for a young kid from Chicago. He was alone but I didn't care. He had his father's credit card. So I knew he was good for the fare. Anyways. I took him to a toy shop and a trip around New York City. The kid had a strange obsession with eating an entire cheese pizza. After the trip was over. I returned him back to the Plaza Hotel. New York's finest hotel experience. 
but if you fck him. I kill you. Got that? Yeah. Man. I got it. Good. Oh shti. You got a white driver. What? You're gonna be sorry you didn't add a serious tag. A 2% limo driver 98% people who had experiences in limos with dumb friends. I am not a limo driver. Per se. But one time. My friend and I had a plan to get a girl that involved me driving one. The plan was that my friend. Charlie. Would ask a girl out on a date. While leading her to think that he was a super rich oil tycoon. Then. I would drive them to dinner. Acting like a super courteous guy. And my buddy would say he felt sick and have to go home. Leaving me and the girl alone. I needed some help with girls. Cause as soon as they found out I had money. They all just wanted me for that. So. My friend. Charlie starts puking up blood everywhere. And I am all like. Charlie. What the hell. He tells me that he ate a couple of those fake blood tablets to make it seem like he was coughing blood. It actually made him sick. And he projectile vomited fake blood all over the girl. F King Charlie and his goddamned ideas. Whatever. We are gonna go boil some denim tomorrow. Not a limo driver but. I work in the transportation industry and had to fill in for a driver that called in at the last minute. It ends up being a bachelorette party of 15 young Indian women that were very handsy. To say the least. Me being young. And from their perspective handsome turned the four closest to me into a very sorely aggressive woman. In the end I just got her over the pants handy. Back massage and made out with the bride a little. Never felt more studly in my life haha. Also got $40 from one of them for going along with it all and being fun. I'll say what everyone is thinking. I don't believe you. It. Non-limo drivers. Not a limo driver.